Hi, I'm Jennifer Novak. I'm an environmental lawyer based in the Los Angeles area. And today, I want to talk to you about why you should stop thinking about paper as wasteful and start thinking about paper as money. Because when it comes to environmental compliance or liability, your papers could save you money or cost you money. So let's talk about some of the ways that's true. First, many of our clients are in industries that require documentation. It could be hazardous waste manifests, it could be spill reports, it could be inspection reports pursuant to permit compliance. If you're asked to show proof that you did an inspection report or that you manifested correctly and you don't have your documents or you can't find them, that is the easiest way to get hit with mandatory penalties. Next, documents can also help you prove that you didn't cause or contribute to an environmental problem. Let's say that there is a plume of gr contaminated groundwater under your property, and we know that you're in an industry that can cause pollution. But if you have documents to show what kind of chemicals you used or how you addressed spills, that's the best way to show that this isn't your problem, it really was caused by someone else. Another really important reason why papers can save you money is insurance. Many people assume that the only relevant insurance policies are the ones that they currently have for their ongoing operations or conditions. But that really isn't true. A lot of environmental problems happened decades ago, and modern day policies rarely cover the kind of inspection or cleanup that might be required. If you have copies of those insurance policies, you might be able to find coverage, but it's really hard to find someone else to pay for your inspections or your remediations if you can't remember what insurance company you had or what the policies number were, or even what the policies said. So you need to hang on to those as well. I know. We live in a digital world and paperwork is old school and boring and nobody wants a storage room full of old boxes. I've also just made something really basic seem scary and complicated. But if you ever have a question about what really matters or doesn't in the world of environmental law, please just give us a call.